across the room. To have some propeller left. <sighs> Beginner's mistake. Too eager. No patience. Check out the new spec guys, welcome back it's Sai and today I'm talking about how I crashed my drone in this room now as you can see it's not a very big room this is an attic or loft whatever you want to call it and uh, since I've been away I haven't created any content I think it's been what a few months now and uh, but I have been working away at this room and um, as you can see I've opened it up a little bit more more space and I'm trying to create uh, a, a office slash studio before i get into this video i do need to clean up quickly so i'm going to clean up and get straight into the video so guys before i um, show you the clip i just want to say how strong this drone is um, it's a tough drone and when it made its first point of contact with the wall um, I thought this drone was a goner. The only damage that it caused, um, apart from the lamp shades, which I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute, um, was the propellers. So the propellers all got broken in the process, in, in, in the accident, um, except for one. And um, that was it. I, I looked around to see if any damages, any cracks in the drone, and there's nothing. I mean, can't argue it's a tough drone. Another reason why I flew it in, indoors was because I was frustrated with the weather. Um, every time I got a day off, it was raining. Every time I wanted to fly it, it was windy. Again, rain. And living in the UK, um, especially in, in the early months of the year, the weather is terrible. It's never a good time to fly a drone. And also, um, I don't know. I think the winter carried on far too long this time around uh, so I decided to fly it indoors not the brightest decision I made and um, all I wanted to do was lift it and in the air and just bring it back down I ended up crashing it so without further ado here's the video I'm gonna show you the damage. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna show you what damage it caused. So, Oops. guys, as you see, I'm in the attic, attic. and uh, you can see that you know, the, the roofs are kind of like this. This is actually the roof here. So when I, I when I went sideways, it crashed into the side of the wall here and the roof. Say, and then it descended downwards towards my laptop and my camera gear. So I had a lot more camera gear here, my lenses. Um, I had my obviously my laptop still there. Before it could damage anything, it got caught in this lamp shade. So I'll just show you. This lamp is the hero. There you go. That's the damage. Now it got caught in here, and um, let me just get a bit closer. Right. Um, got caught and it was just you know moving all over the place and I managed to grab hold of it from underneath and with my right hand and I, and I cut myself and my, my two small fingers as well so <laughs> and there's a propeller that I was looking for so there you go um, there's still a bit of debris I'm, I'm cleaning this place up before I decided to make a video about it 
screen. There you have it guys, that's the damage it caused. I got I got away lucky. That's the only damage it caused. That's all that matters. I'll say he's gonna stay there. There you have it. Um, short video, but I just want to add to this experience that you know, obviously, when you are flying indoors, you gotta watch out for health and safety. Uh, if you're fl trying to fly indoors, you gotta bear in mind that you can always um, crash the drone, and uh, and obviously, if you it's a big drone like this, look out for your health, health and safety because you know these things can end up anywhere. And as you just seen, it was still stuck in the. Uh, in the lamp but I still haven't found some of the other bits that have come off um, and that's why I don't recommend flying indoors another thing is someone else coming into the room while there is a flying object it's not cool as well so safety for yourself and for others and also for your equipment you know because you have your expensive equipment you spent your hard-earned money you don't want to wreck that so just be careful so there you have it guys this is a short video from me and it's been a long awaited video from me as well so i just want to say thank you for the support and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and hit the like button and i'll see you in the next video and i'll be trying to create as much as possible but it's, it's quite hard at the moment because i've got a lot going on um but i'm gonna try to get as much of videos out as soon as possible so i'll see you soon peace I should do it with like just two fingers doesn't cut it doesn't cover the lens so I'm gonna do it for a piece check this out just discovered. Wow. That is another piece of the propeller. These things are so dangerous.